Welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. This is my first time growing black seeded Simpson lettuce. It's by Perry Morse. It's organic and it's called black seeded Simpson. So I've been trying out a different, different types of lettuce and it is ready for harvest as you can see. One tip I want to share with you, when it comes to all of the vegetables in the brassica family, for those of you who do grow lettuce and spinach and broccoli and, and cauliflower and etc., you know that the little white cabbage uh, butterflies do love to attack our crops. Therefore, I use this white mesh insect covering. If you look at the photo above, you will see where I have the entire pot or container covered. And I also will have a link where you can purchase um, this particular um, insect barrier cover. The reason why I wanted to share this with you, as you can see, this crop is perfect. No insect bites no worms, no caterpillars, nothing. And when you're, again, when you're growing brassica crops, you do have to keep it covered. Unfortunately, I'm a little late in harvesting this particular lettuce. Therefore, I'm gonna go ahead and start harvesting it. Again, the black seeded Thompson lettuce. The best way to harvest this type of lettuce, especially when it gets this big, is you want to just grab the top leaves like this. So I don't want to go all the way down here because then if I do, then I'm not gonna, it won't be able to grow back. So if you look way down here, I'm just gonna just harvest the outside of the leaves like this. I want to keep the base intact so there's a lot a lot of lettuce here another thing I could do also is just kind of cut right off at the top like this where I leave some of the base and because this is so uh, there's so much lettuce here more than likely it's best if I just cut off the top just like this cutting off the top will leave the base so that more lettuce can grow. Now, if I had started harvesting this lettuce a lot earlier, then I would have been pulling off the outer leaves. Pulling off the outer leaves like here. But because there's so much lettuce, oh my goodness, we're going to have a nice big chef salad today. It's, I will just have to pull the lettuce right off the top, make sure I leave the base so that I can get another crop. So it's almost like chop and drop, cut and come again. I'm sorry, that was incorrect. It's almost like um, come chop and come again. So this is basically what I'm doing cut and come again. So I'm cutting the top half like this. The reason why I can come again is because I'm leaving the bottom or I'm leaving the base at the very bottom. And therefore it will grow more lettuce at the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting this lettuce.
I'm also going to pull some of the leaf from the outside like this grab the grab some of the leaf from the outside Okay, again, this method is cut and come again. So now, I am finished harvesting the lettuce. If I had harvested this lettuce a little earlier, perhaps a couple of weeks ago, I would have just harvested the outer part of the leaves and left the inner part of the leaves intact but because there was so much lettuce there was no way to do that so then I decided to use a different method and that is to cut and come again the base is intact and I will be able to get another harvest out of this we're now uh, starting to enter into the cool season it is September and I started this container of lettuce in October. I kept it in a shaded area where it was only getting the morning sun. I again kept it covered with an insect screen barrier cover so there was some uh, sun blockage and it did very, very well. I just wanted to take you along and show you this new type of lettuce I am growing. So. As you can see, I, hold on just a second, I, as you can see, I got a whole colander of lettuce, and this would make a nice dinner. I have already harvested my tomatoes and my bell peppers, and I'm really excited about adding those vegetables to our dinner tonight to have a beautiful chef salad. For those who are wanting to grow lettuce in a container, you could sow directly in the container. Again, I do caution you to make sure you're covering all of your brassica crops because the white butterfly will try to lay their eggs on your crops and of course you're gonna have green worms and then you're gonna have uh, either an infestation or you're gonna have a lot of holes in your crop would become buggy and wormy. So I just wanted to bring you along, share with you this new lettuce that I'm growing, Black Seeded Simpson. You'll be excited to see how it tastes. It's nice to be able to eat fresh lettuce out of your backyard as opposed to going to the store and getting lettuce that's been sitting on the shelf for days. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to hit the like button.